Ever since the end of the Kalos era, this community has entered the dark times. A war has broken out. Several debates and feuds fuel the minds of many. They fight for the old era of X and Y, or they fight for the revolution and change that is sun and moon. Many arguments, several topics, but one more important than the rest, the argument of which art style is better, and if the change was good or bad. SHUT UP ALREADY! STOP MONOLOGUING MY TWITTER WAR! A man shrouded in his anger and hatred realizes he is being monologued over something so stupid as a Twitter war, showing how meaningless his life truly is. Dude, what the hell? You're my roommate! You're supposed to have my back! And this just, this just isn't any Twitter war! This is a war to determine which art style change for Pokemon was either a good or a bad thing. I can't even speak normal English because of how heated I am in this argument. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. The argument so stupid and pointless that it burns the hearts of many. So many lost souls wasting their life on such meaningless actions. Can you please stop? WITH THAT VOICE! Dude, I I'm just saying, this is stupid! So what?! It's important! I support the magnificent that is X and Y's art style! Yeah, sure, sure, whatever. You have your little Twitter war, and I'm gonna go do something productive with my life and go to class, so see you later. Loser, imagine going to class over fighting random people on Twitter over an anime. They <laughs> have no life. Greetings, my comrades, and welcome back to Zonolith. And today, we are once again going to be covering another controversial topic. <laughs> Cause you know, that's what we love to do here on my channel. If the little skit didn't give it away already, today we are going to be answering the question of whether or not the art style change from XY to Sun and Moon was a good or a bad thing. If you guys have been following the Pokemon anime in recent years since 2016, you will know that the art style for the Pokemon anime series changed art styles to better fit the tone of the Sun and Moon series. But many people did not like this art style when it was first revealed, myself included. Even though most people grew to like and accept this art style, many people still dislike it or wish the art style stayed the same as the XY series. So today, I'm going to be talking about both of these arguments and talking about both of their pros and their cons and then coming to my conclusion at the end of this video. I can't answer anything for you, so I'd recommend watching this entire video and then formulating your own opinion and leaving it down in the comment section down below. I don't want to waste any more of your time. Remember, my name is Zonolith, and enjoy the video. So let's start off this video talking about what supports the argument that the Pokemon art style should have stayed in the old art style, aka the XY art style. Now I don't think anyone can say XY did not look amazing. The art and the animation looked beautiful and the battles were the most stunning in the entire series. Although Sun and Moon and Journeys have some beautiful battles, the lack of the 3D camera really brings down the level of intensity and fluency. The lack of the 3D camera really did hurt the battles in Sun and Moon and now in Journeys. Another point that supports this argument was that arguably this art was a lot more detailed when it came to the designs of the characters. 
Take Ash from Sun and Moon and Journeys and compare him to XY or hell, even BW. The level of detail is definitely more abundant in the XY art style. It also makes Ash look more mature and an extension of his character from previous seasons. While Sun and Moon and Journeys redefined Ash's design and took a new spin on how the character looked, I think most people prefer how Ash looked in X and Y, but it's not just Ash. If you look at any other character in X and Y, you can just see a more refined character design. Finally, I also wanted to mention this art style is also just an extension of the Pokemon art style from the original series. It's consistent. There's a lack of consistency after X and Y when it comes to the art style. However, this art style truly feels like a modernization of the art style from the original series. So in conclusion, the old art style has the 3D camera, allowing for better battles, had a more detailed character design, and had a consistent art style that resembled and even expanded upon the previous seasons of the anime. Now, just like the XY art style, there are a lot of reasons to support the argument that the art style change was a good thing. First off, we need to ask this question. Why did they change the art style? If they had an art style that already worked really well, why change it? Well, I believe there were two reasons why they did this. The first one being that the art style changed to better fit the tone of the Sun and Moon series. Lots of people argue that the XY art style just wouldn't work with the Alola series' tone. Alola was very lighthearted, laid back, and peaceful, while X and Y was very action-packed and more a shonen-based anime rather than anything else. Now, if they decided to continue the shonen route with the Sun and Moon series but still change the art style, that just really wouldn't make much sense. However, you can also say the same for vice versa. If we got the same exact Sun and Moon with the XY art style, the art style would not reflect that of the show's tone. The second reason for the art style change was to create more fluent animations. You cannot tell me that outside of battles, XY had more fluent animations than Sun and Moon. Due to the change in art style, the characters became a lot more vibrant, fluent, and less stiff. It's practically night and day when you compare character animations from X and Y to Sun and Moon. And because Sun and Moon was not a series solely focusing on battling, they had to make the characters move at a more faster and fluent pace. And even though the 3D camera is absent, the battles in Sun and Moon still have a fluent animation style, just quite different from X and Y's. So, in conclusion, the points that support the art style change was a good thing are that it better fit the tone of the Sun and Moon series, and I guess Pokemon Journeys to a certain extent, and allowed for some more fluent character animations. Now we reach the con section, and I'm not going to create individual sections for each argument here because I have already mentioned these points in the pro section. The arguments against the art style shouldn't have changed is that the old art style wouldn't have matched the tone of the newer shows, it wouldn't have allowed for some more fluent character animations and animations overall. As for the argument that the art style change was a good thing, the cons towards that argument is that the old art style had the 3D camera, which drastically improved the quality of battles, had more detailed character designs, and had an art style that was an evolution of the art style from previous seasons. Now, what argument do I support? Well, personally, I think the change was a good thing. While I obviously do miss the more consistent art style and the 3D camera, I do like the more fluent animations overall and I definitely think that the old art style wouldn't have matched well with the newer tone of the Pokemon anime series. Now, do I agree with the direction they took the series after X and Y? Well, that's a video for an entirely other time. Well everyone, that is going to be the end of this video. I'm sorry it was a little on the shorter side, but please tell me your thoughts and which argument you stand by in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications to never miss an upload, and to share these videos out there with friends so they can come here and join me for my journey. 
Also, guys, please go follow me on my Twitter and Twitch to see more of me. With that being said, my name is Zonolith, and I'll catch you guys next time.